Hello everyone, I'm back again and I'm back with another one of the GTEL smartphones. I'm here with the most compact of them. This is the GTEL X7 Pro. And uh, there's a lot going on with this device. So first off, starting from the exterior of the device, it's got a bit of heft to it. And this heft is probably because GTEL has gone with a metal and glass sandwich design. Yes, you heard it right metal and glass sandwich. So the front of the display is a 5.89 or I would say just 5.9 inch IPS LCD display of HD resolution. It's got a notch on it and within that notch you'll find the 16 megapixel selfie camera. Yes, 16. You'll find the earpiece as well as some sensors and the selfie flash. The back of the GTL is a glass bag and right at the corner there you have a dual camera setup. You have a 16 megapixel main camera as well as a 5 megapixel secondary camera, an LED flash and all this is encased in this nice black glass over there. You also have the fingerprint scanner right there in the middle for your convenience. To the right side as with other GTL smartphones you have the volume button as well as the power button. The high hybrid SIM tray, so hybrid just means you can have a dual SIM setup or you can have a single SIM as well as expandable storage via an SD card. At the top you have a good old fashioned 3.5mm headphone jack and at the bottom you have your micro USB port, your primary microphone as well as some holes for the loudspeaker. Bringing you back to the front. If you look closely at the bottom, there's a nice little pattern that they put in the glass there. That is, uh, the pattern is printed under the glass. It fades into the display. It kind of gives it a distinguished look. All the same, I am really impressed with the build of this GTL X7 Pro. So like I said, it has some heft to it. And this heft is because they decided to go with a glass front and back. And they also made the frame of metal and it's this clean looking design. It's uh, really modern, it's really keeping up with the trends. It's a very nice phone to hold. If there's one thing I can emphasize about this phone is the size of this phone, how compact it is. It feels nice in the hand to hold. But yeah, it's a complete fingerprint magnet, but surprisingly it's not that slippery. Or I guess I just have big hands, but it doesn't feel like, it, it's, it's not a slipper at all. It gives you confidence when you're holding it. The build on the X7 is amazing. Probably on the whole X7 series of phones, uh, this is the most pleasing to handle. So, unlocking the phone, jumping into the user interface. So, just like the GTL X7S, uh, you're looking at Android 8.1 Oreo and uh, it's pretty smooth. It's also using the same processor as the one on the GTL X7S, so everything is running really great. It's got 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. This is probably one of the best displays GTL has used so far. It's really pleasing, it's plenty bright. If you go out into the African sun, you are able to see things clearly on the display. Um, the colors are nice and rich and punchy. It's a really, really good display. So like the rest of the GTLs in the GTL X7 family, the GTL X7 Pro has a notch on it. You can show or hide this notch at will depending on how much of a problem the notch is for you. I did see it creeping into some sections of settings as well as cutting into some videos if you're playing some videos on this phone. But you can just swipe from the top left of the device to hide or to show the notch. And it's pretty convenient. I still have the same qualms as the ones I had on the GTL X7S that as soon as you hide the notch, it just moves everything down by the height of the notch or the depth of the notch. And yeah, sadly, the problem with that is you have this whole dead space at the top and since this is an IPS display, that dead space is consuming power whilst it's really not doing anything. And so I would have loved if the notifications and the status indicators like battery and network could stay in that blacked out section of the notch whilst the rest of the UI just moved down a bit. So it's a little, it's a little thing, but you know, it's the little things that matter. <laughs> 
So the GTL X7 Pro is using a 3000 milliampere hour battery. It's slightly smaller than the one on the X7S, but what I noticed from usage is it performs decently well in terms of endurance. It's not as good as the GTL X7S, which is something that you will see in our endurance test on the full written review. Be sure to check that out. So it does perform decently well, not as fantastic as the GTL X7S on battery life, but still really good nonetheless. In fact, probably it's one of our top performers when it comes to endurance on all the phones that we have tested on Texan. Sadly though, again, no hint of fast charging on the GTL X7 Pro. Would have preferred some faster, I mean, we have seen fast charging, the X6 had fast charging, the X5 had fast charging. We would have loved to see that same trend going on to the GTL X7 series, considering that people nowadays are always in a rush for something and it's always convenient to have a quick top up. So move on to the cameras. The cameras are great. So the rear camera is a 16 megapixel unit mated to a 5 megapixel secondary unit. So this dual camera setup is mainly for some bokeh effects but it also supports two times telephoto zoom. Not too sure if it is optical or if it's digital. Maybe it's even hybrid. But what I can say is the quality of the zoom is really good it actually looks like it's a form of lossless zoom and it works pretty great even though it's just two times but it's a feature that i'm happy to see on the gtel i would have preferred a wide angle i think wide angles are always going to be more useful than telephoto but hey it's cool to see gtel bringing in a bit more utility to their camera and again in really decent light scenarios you are able to get really amazing shots the resolution on the 16 megapixel cameras is pretty great, the images are sharp and you can even enter into night mode to, to take some low light shots or some evening shots. The only problem is that the details are coming in without any image stabilization so you would really need to look for some form of stabilization if you want to capture some really good looking low light shots but other than that it's a very very respectable performance from the GTL cameras, both the rear camera and the 16 megapixel selfie camera. The selfie camera is also mated with a selfie flash so that you can keep yourself illuminated as you take your selfies. So to sum it all up, the GTL X7 Pro is a fantastic compact device. It's got some heft to it. It's got a good feel. It feels good in the hand. It's not as slippery as I thought it would be considering that it's metal and glass. It is premium in terms of how it feels because it is metal and glass and they made sure that they made it as sleek and as simple as possible without adding too much stuff on it. However, I would have preferred a couple of things to be added to the GTEL. Being a USB Type-C for example, which is what the trends are right now. USB Type-C everything. Fast charging is also something they should consider because the, as batteries are getting bigger and bigger so that we have more endurance, you also want to be able to top up that battery quicker because we live a life of a hectic schedule these days. Also, I would have preferred if when you hide the notch, the details in the notification tray stay within the notch. If you're gonna waste power blacking out the notch, at least let's get that power to some good use. The cameras are fantastic. They just lack some stabilization, which kind of makes it difficult to explore the full potential of what the GTL cameras can be able to do. With some decent stabilization, you'll be able to get some really crisp, really sharp shots but since it does not have any stabilization, that kind of kills it. So otherwise, an overall really respectable performance from the GTL X7 Pro. Uh, if you like this video, click like, hit subscribe, tell a buddy. We we'll also have a bunch of other gadgets that we are selling in our online store. We've got smartphones, car chargers, power banks, tablets. You can go check it out and see what we have and tell us what we don't. And this has been the review of the GTEL X7 Pro. I'll see you around.